morning. Um, it's your daily program, Kingdom Light Insight. You're welcome. And today is um, Thursday, the 14th day of in January 2021. Hallelujah. Amen. And today I'm anchoring this program with my colleagues here, Rubin Ubi. You're welcome to the program. Good morning, everyone. I am happy to be here. And by my right, this is Mr. Frank Amadi. You're welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Okay, today we'll be talking on a topic, Enemies of Your Breakthrough, Part 3. Okay, here our anchor text is taken from Numbers 13, verse 31. And it says, But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Hallelujah. Amen. That is said here, excuses are really tools of failures. Those who want to fail will always have excuses for failing. But successful people are those who deal with why others fail. Another man's excuse for failure can be your very reason for succeeding. Mm. Do you really want to produce tangible proofs this year? If yes, then identify these enemies of breakthrough and eliminate them. Mm. Number one enemies of breakthrough that we'll be discussing today is discouragement. That is said here, the road to success is not always paved. Most times it is, it is a wilderness. That is why many conclude that there can never be a way through it. You will even meet a Red Sea on the way to your bridge to this heartland, isn't it? Yes. Of course it is. First but if you can take your eyes off the big obstacles and fix them on the Almighty God, you will soon look for the obstacles and see them no more. Mm. Red shoes involves loss of risks, I tell you. And cowboys shy away from risks. That is also why they shy away from breakthroughs. Don't wait for people to encourage you in the face of discouragement. Rather, encourage yourself in the Lord. For Joshua to break through, God charged him, be strong and be of good courage. Joshua 1 verse 9. Which brings me to the question. Really, when I hear this word, I get to ask myself, like, is there anything like that? Can someone actually get discouraged with some certain situations around? Well, we need to understand something about discouragement. Discouragement doesn't get to you unless you allow it. And that was why when our father was talking in part of the enemies of breakthrough about negative conversions, relating it to this, I got to realize that this discouragement is something you allow. It is if you decide to fill yourself with lots of positivity, people's discouragement cannot get to you. But if it is when you are not Fool, you know, there is no optimism inside of you when people throw words at you because eventually what I realize is that people will always throw words at you. People will always throw words to see how you will react to them and how those words will affect you. But it's your ability to not to overlook what they say and stay glued to the word of God. That is why as Christians we need to be loaded with the word of God. So whenever people bring things or circumstances seem to discourage you, to come with the word of God to second it, to tell it, my God is able to bring me out from whatever challenge it is. Hallelujah. This is, this is really oh. awesome. Thank you very much, Dan. Okay, um, number two, enemies of our breakthroughs here that we talked about distractions. Anytime Satan finds out that he cannot discourage you, he will seek to distract you. Mm. Distraction is one of the most deadly and most effective weapons of Satan against believers. Wow. What makes this tool very powerful against the sin is that it does not involve an obvious sin. Whenever you find yourself major on, on the minor, you have been distracted. Stop shouting at every dog that backs at mm. you, lest you become a fool or a madman. Focus on your targets. Now this brings me to the question, um, here that said something, a very salient point that he made, he said distraction is one of the most deadly and most effective weapons of Satan and evil. What makes this tool very powerful is the thing is that it involves an obvious sin. Now I want your friend, please can you throw more light on this obvious sin, like right? what do you understand by that obvious sin? Well from what he says is that it does not involve obvious sin, it means that you might, it might come, there are deception, you can be deceptive. Mm -hmm. You might not wait to, to do the obvious things like maybe um, fornication, adultery, um, you know, it would just be obvious works of the flesh, you understand? But here is the thing that it comes in different dimensions, just like when our Lord Jesus Christ asked Peter to come 
when he asked him, Lord, are you the one? He said, yes, you step out of the boat and come toward me. When he came, when he stepped out of the boat, he was looking at Jesus. Mm. The moment he looked away, he started sinking. So these things can happen in different dimensions. We know, as believers, we need to understand that there are times we, we read the Bible and live spiritual books. There are times we read the Bible and live watching online videos, maybe watching script, um, gospel videos. Yes. It's, I'm not saying it's not good, yeah. but there are times for everything. Now, as Christians that we are, as believers that we are, we need to understand there is time for everything. And doing the right thing at the right time disconnects us from distraction. Mm. Because distraction is when you are being disconnected from your focus. Mm. So when we focus on the right things at the right time, we see that, and always be careful, yielding to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Because we can only discern when the enemy is coming like a flood, and his Spirit will always lift us up against him. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. That was really awesome. Thank you. Now we're going to the third enemies of uh, breakthrough, yeah. which is one company or association. Mm -hmm. Now said he never joined the camp of company with failure mentality, mm -hmm. lest you fall. Separate from those who see only impossibilities, associate with people with jo and like Joshua and Caleb, and you can never fail. Caleb mm -hmm. for a long time. I found myself in the midst of people that they don't even think far. Like I'm thinking mm -hmm. of maybe my first flight. I was thinking how mm -hmm. I'll just <laughs> go into the flight and get to where I'm going to. You understand? And they're like, what? What happened to the road? You don't have the money yet. What will you do? You are not dressed. Right. I don't even understand. That's right. What we should be thinking about yeah. buying a private jet? Of course, yes, of course. Yes. Instead of thinking of things like that, they're just telling you they want to. They're just instead yeah. of mediocre. Yeah. 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 In that enemies of the growing church, he called them honor members. These are the kind of people that always discourage you. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of people that don't see the best in you. These are the kind of people that are not meant to be in the life of a believer. And I believe God is telling us to be a true our Father and the Lord that people like this, we should disconnect ourselves from them. Mm -hmm. We should tell the people that has wisdom. Because the Bible said, first time, the Bible said, a thousand, more than thousand. And people say, two good heads are better than one. Do you understand? So, two good wise heads. We'll go very far in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I believe you're so blessed with today's teaching from our the table of our papa was the Ken Bachi. Now we're going to move to our prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. If wherever you are, just begin to thank God for His blessings. Father, we give you praise for your mercies, for your word, and for your mercies, O Lord. Father, we thank you. Receive all the love in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. Say, My Father, my Father, deliver me from discouragement and help me to succeed. Speak it up with prayer, my dear Father. Father, deliver me from discouragement and help me to succeed. Help me to succeed, Lord, in life and destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Say, I receive grace. I receive grace. To maintain focus. To maintain focus. This year. This year. And to shun distractions. To shun Somebody distractions. make it a prayer. Father, I receive grace, 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 grace to maintain focus. This year. And to shun every form of distraction. To shun every form of distraction. This year. And to shun the grace to maintain focus. And to shun distraction. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, help me to identify. And to be separated from wrong company. Somebody make it a prayer in the name of Jesus my Father has to be saved to be separated from wrong wrong company. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Say, my God, my God, deliver me from excuses. And say in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Okay, viewers, thank you so much for joining us today. And we hope to see you join us tomorrow. As you go today, I pray and I decree upon your life under the grace of our spiritual father, Apostle Kenneth Kumbachi. Every enemy of your breakthrough is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy of your breakthrough is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Amen.